let's go ahead and open up idle as of the recording of this video I have Python 3.8.2 installed on my computer now this is the shell the shell is a console or a command prompt window you can tell you're in the shell by these three little arrowheads this is how the shell works if I add two numbers and then hit the enter or return key it will automatically do a calculation if I hit enter or return with nothing there it just goes to a new command prompt line once you've executed a line you can't return and execute the line above but you can copy the data and then it will print out the data on a new line so if I say print hello world and then hit enter the shell automatically calculates that the editor is different so to open the editor is very simple we go to file and we choose new file and this opens up an editor now I'm going to save this as test.py. All your Python files should end with the py extension. And you should also have your first name and your last name in the file name. So I'm going to say test.john.partridge.py. And that's the naming convention we're going to use for our files. I'm going to hit save. Now the editor window is different from the shell because if I type hello world and then hit the enter return key it doesn't execute the code. I can type in multiple lines and then I can say print program terminated. Now let's save this file. File save. Now to run this file, I choose the run option and I choose run module. And what happens is, is it runs the program right here. Notice that 3.5 wasn't printed out. And that's because in order to print it out, I would have to put it inside of a print statement. Let's save that. Let's run it again. And so every time you run a program from the editor window, it will open up a corresponding shell window to demonstrate what's being printed out. If you don't already have a shell window open. If you do have a shell window open, then it will just print out the data from that editor into that shell. Now, if you have Python 3.8 or later, you can actually engage or turn on line numbering in your editor window, which is a very useful feature. If you have Python 3.7 or earlier, then this feature does not exist in idle. So if you have 3.8 or later, go to Options, Configure Idle, choose the General tab, and then what we want to do is we want to engage line numbering. And so let's find that right here where it says show line numbers in new windows. We click on that box. We have to hit apply and hit OK. Now I'm going to close Python completely. I'm going to open up Python again. And now let's open up an editor window. Do you remember how to do that? Go to file, new file. And then right here on the left hand side, you can see I've got my line numbers. So I type text here. Let's just type some dummy text and hit enter return. And you can see each time I go to a new line, we have a new line number. It is possible to set up Python or idle so that instead of a shell, it opens up the editor window first. And so to do that, choose options, configure idle, go back to the general tab, and then what we want to do is we want to make sure that it opens up the editor window. So right here it says at startup. We click on the button open edit window. Hit apply and then hit OK. Now I'm going to close out Python completely. I'm going to reopen idle. And now it opened up an editor window. 
What if I want to get a shell when I've opened up an editor? Well, it's very easy. All I do is choose the run option and I choose Python shell. And so if I don't have a shell, it opens up a shell for me. Now, if I close one of these windows, then idle is still running. But if I close both windows, idle closes completely. That's something you'll need to know. And that's it for this video. God bless you, wherever you are today.